The CEO of Silverfern Farms is Dean Hamilton. We heard a bit about the justification for Fairton's closure in Maya's story, but we wanted to hear it directly from the CEO himself. So why the job losses? Why the closure? What has traditionally been uh, extensive uh, beef and sheep farming here has seen progressive conversion over time. There was 20 million sheep in the South Island 10 years ago. There's now 14. And that's been due to a mixture of things, not one sole thing, more dairying, more dairy grazing, more viticulture. And so the reality is the, uh, the flock is now of a certain size, uh, that the lamb flow from that is of a certain size, that... As an industry and as a company, we no longer need as much capacity. Obviously, with that continued decline, uh, we have uh, recently presented to to the board that said, we believe that this reduction is not going to turn around quickly and that we need to take capacity out. So as of a month ago, uh, the board approved uh, the proposal today that we table with staff, which is to shut uh, the Fairton plant. And, and we will look to take that throughput through to our Pariora plant, which is one hour down the road. OK, of course production's not going to turn around quickly, not going to suddenly get a whole lot of sheep and lambs that you don't already have in the area, right? So that makes sense. But you stopped, you could have killed bobby calves there and you sent them elsewhere. Uh, as Winston Peters pointed out in November of last year, this plant has been allowed to run down. Shanghai Mailing told its shareholders as they were contemplating uh, spending $267 million buying half of Silver Fern Farms that there would be no Fiat plant. In other words, what the workers are being told today, lots of other people have known for a long time. Look, there's been speculation, John, probably for at least five years. So you know, this isn't a situation created by the investment by Shanghai Mailing. It's not a situation created by the employees. This has been a 10-year-plus trend of declining sheep and lamb numbers in the region, uh, and that has continued on into into this year. So you know, the decision has now been taken. The decision had not been taken before. Uh, there was a range of scenarios that we discussed with Shanghai Mailing and other potential investors that if this continued, this is what could be done. There were you no saying it to... Sorry to interrupt. So you were saying it to Shanghai Mailing, and that's where the money was coming from, and that money kept you afloat. But were you saying it to the workers there? Because the sense I'm getting from people on the ground, and I've just been speaking to them on the phone, is that they hoped this wasn't happening, but hadn't been prepared for it by you. Yes, that, that's an interesting comment because I just presented to 250 workers that said this has been a long time coming. We understand why that might be and we appreciate your openness. So, you know, that's in front of 250 people. So I, I can only uh, make that statement, John, that uh, I think there was, has been an expectation for some time uh, that we were going to have to take capacity out of the region. Yes, there would have been uh, hope that it might have been another plant and not Fairton. Uh, I think they understand our decision today. It's been a difficult day for everybody and we've been spending a lot of time with staff. Uh, but, you know, that proposal that we've put in front of them, uh, I think they understand it and and, uh, and have appreciated that some certainty may well be around the corner. Well, certainty in terms of job loss, right? Uh, in their view, a lot of people stood up today and said this has been hanging over the plant for multiple years. Uh, look, you know, we we don't uh, look to uh, you know, close plants. I think this is economic reality of what's happened to the industry over the last 10 years. And yes, you know, very disappointing day uh, to stand there and say that we would intend to close this plant. Dean Hamilton, who's the CEO of Silver Fern Farms.